Why don't I know how to sew? And why do I keep trying to sew? <laughs> Lauren, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another thrift flip and I'm super stoked about today's projects. Let's kick this video off with a little shameless self promo. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel, the vlog channel, and also my new podcast channel, Wild Till Nine. So it's been a hot minute since I have thrifted. And honestly, I've kind of written thrifting off for the remainder of 2020 due to the current climate of the world. But we are out here thrifting online and partnering with ThreadUp, the largest online thrift store with brands like Honey Punch, J Brand, Wild Fox, Fila, Nike that are up to 90% off the estimated retail price. And I am here for that. You guys know I'm a big fan of being able to do anything and everything from my couch. So having the ability to shop thousands of cool pieces that are triple checked for quality and can be filtered by size, brand, color, style, pattern, is honestly right up my alley. And before we hopped into my thrift haul and the thrift flip DIYs, ThreadUp came through with a discount code specially made for the DIY babes. You can use code LoreDIY30 for 30% off your first order on ThreadUp. Shout out ThreadUp, we love saving coin. Okay, so I have my haul ready to show you everything that I shopped and thrifted, but I wanna give you a super quick tour of ThreadUp to show you how easy it is to navigate. Okay, what's up homepage? She cute, she cute, the largest online consignment and thrift store. So I'm gonna do a cute search for one of my favorite brands. Let's go all women, extra small, small, uh, medium, and large. I feel like especially when I'm flipping things too, um, sometimes I buy things a little bit bigger than my personal size so that I have extra fabric to work with. Let's do two, four, and who am I kidding? I'm not a zero anymore. <laughs> That was college me. Okay, and then waist 25, shoe five and a half. Okay, so this is my favorite way to shop. So let's do Wild Fox. Wild Fox is one of my favorite brands. I feel like they just embody comfy loungewear and it'll pull up everything. So we've got 364 items. Oh my gosh, everything is so cute. And you can see when you use code LordyIY30, it shows you the price of the 30% off you're going to get off. Ooh, okay, so this cute aqua one is $42.99, but $30.09 with code LordyIY originally $143. Wild Fox do be charging a lot. And I can also favorite this and I'll add it to my favorites category. Ooh, rare find. Oh my gosh, this one's really cute. Okay, may come back for this one later. But again, it shows you all of the pricing information up here, which is so nice to see how much of a discount you're actually getting. Oh my God, this bathing suit is so cute. Oh my God. This is so cute. So definitely coming back for that, but I just wanna show you how many other filters you can add. So we can add a price, so 10 to $25 range. You can sort by condition, material, pattern, and accents, and it'll show you all of your search results that match with your filters. Okay, I just need everyone to not judge me because I'm dressed like an absolute slob, and I'm aware. <laughs> Usually you can't see my bottoms when I'm on camera. Okay. We have thread up things. Also, how cute is this box? We love a polka dot moment. It's haul time. Top number one, we've got this really cute like baseball style tee with the Fila logo on front. Also, y'all, like Fila made the comeback of all comebacks and I am here for it. Like. What? Where did you come from? But this is so cute and the tag has labeled it with an L like new. It's super clean, soft, and ready to be thrift flipped DIY. But if I could have bought two, I absolutely would have because like it's obviously very cute on its own, like does not need to be DIY. I paid $12 and it retailed for $45. Okay, so this piece I bought oversized with the pure intention of flipping because this fabric is so cute and stretchy. So I paid $11.99 for this one and it retails at $24.99 and I feel like we can definitely Definitely do something really, really cute with this fabric. Levi sweatshirt, and I feel like this is something that you would absolutely find at a thrift store, and it'd be like the find of the day. I paid $15.99 for this one, and it's got such like a comfy, vintagey feel, and it retails for $60. Next shirt paid $8.77. That is literally cheaper than my Starbucks order when I do it through Postmates. I don't think I realized how expensive Harley Davidson pieces are at retail price. So this sells for $71. Harley Davidson, oh my God. 
and I paid $26.99. I feel like this is so on point with my current style right now. A little bejeweled moment, a little sparkle, a little crystal, but I have a fun flip for this one that's gonna be super, super easy and no so. Okay, this next sweater is from All Saints and it's so cute and such good quality. Generally, I avoid All Saints at malls and such because I just like am a little frugal and I'm like, mm, I don't know, I could get it for $35.99 on Thread Up instead of $195. And that's what I did. I have such a fun DIY plan for this Wild Fable skirt. I paid $8.99 for this one and it retails around $22. I've gotten so many requests to paint with bleach. So I'm gonna give it a go today and just like really hope that it turns out because this skirt is so cute and hopefully my DIY does not ruin the cuteness of how cute the skirt is. Another store that I don't typically shop at at full price is Juicy Couture and this scarf is so cute. I feel like people have been getting so creative on different ways of how to tie a scarf into a top or dress. This scarf retails at $118 and I paid $34.99 but like she large, like we got a lot to work with here. And the last piece that I got are Rag and Bone Jeans, another brand that I typically would not treat myself to. Rag and Bone usually retails for over $200. These ones specifically go for $253 and I paid $35.20 and they're in such good condition. I'm stoked, not gonna DIY these because they fit too well to take the DIY risk, but I'm super excited to dive into these DIY projects. In full transparency, um, I've done an outfit a change because a I'm about to work with bleach so like I figured you know the white shirt would make sense and um b I'm stressed and I was starting to sweat so that is that <laughs> Moving on, we've got thrift flip number one. This is the Wild Fable denim skirt. And I wanna leave this side as is, since this side is darker, I figured it would make more sense to work with bleach on this side. And I don't wanna take any chances with bleach flying who knows where. So I'm gonna try and protect this side with a towel. I've got some foam in between the layers so it doesn't seep through to the other side. And uh, fingers crossed, this is the kind of denim that bleaches. So my plan is to do some like abstract line art faces on just the front panel of the darker side and I've got a little reference photo to attempt to work off of just off Pinterest and I've got my little bowl of bleach and my paintbrush and we just gonna wish for the best oh god oh god I got this drip this drip and ah, contact <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so scared that I'm gonna do all of this and it's gonna end up being the denim that doesn't actually react to bleach. Sometimes really stretchy denims don't fully react or only react a little bit. So I'm super hoping that's not our case today, but I'm gonna let it sit in the sun um, in hopes that it'll speed up the reaction once I'm done painting on the bleach. Oh my god, this is drying really fast also. I'm nervous. <laughs> Something is definitely happening and I'm excited. Okay, transparently things have gotten a little too abstract for my liking. <laughs> I think where things went wrong is I made my first guy a little too large. And uh, now we're working backwards to figure out how to make him less of a focal point. We're still out here, still doing it. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, I really don't know. <laughs> is so easy that like if I see a single comment in the comment section that says oh yeah these DIYs are too hard I will come for you I will come for you because I know that you have a tank top scissors and safety pins and four seconds of free time that's how easy this DIY is and transparently I'm modeling this off a tank top that I paid $40 shamefully for I'm ashamed Honestly, I'm ashamed. So we're gonna remake it and flip this for free. Rotary cutter to crop it, not necessary, obviously, but um, also a game-changing tool, truly game-changing. <laughs> and then, like, I kid you not, I am literally going to take a pair of scissors, make about a 
three, four inch straight cut in the middle of the collar on the front panel only. Done. I'm kidding, not actually done. You're gonna pull it out a little bit and if you want to add um, a tiny bit of Mod Podge hot glue or even clear nail polish to really like firm up the seams, you can. And then I'm gonna add some safety pins across. She is done, she is beauty, she is grace. She is a much cheaper DIY version of a tank top that I paid way too much for. I feel like the safety pins with the jewels is a definite vibe. Catch me wearing this on the IG for sure. Oh man, okay, the sewing machine is out. You know that means struggle ahead. There is this style of shirt that I have been meaning to DIY for so long. If you watch my recent bikini haul vlog, it's like the cow print one where it loops around the arms and then comes down to the midriff and then goes around the back. It's like very much just a piece of fabric on the front of your chest with strings all over your back. Very, very cute. And I am going to attempt to replicate it. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, this is already very little. <laughs> we'll just go with it, we'll go with it. Okay, so with the excess fabric of the back panel of the tank top that we cut off, I'm making two tunnels, one near the top and one near the bottom, and I'm keeping the original hem, and then I think we'll just do a rough edge at the top and then hem in the sides after we add the tunnel. Does that make sense? No wait, that doesn't make sense because then I'll close the tunnel. Why don't I know how to sew? And why do I keep trying to sew? <laughs> okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's think about this. Let's think about this real quick. Yeah, okay, wait, no, 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 this is wrong. This is wrong. It's not tunnel time yet. This goes in, this goes in. Then we'll add tunnels. Those get sewed on top. Yes, okay, good job team. And break. So far, sewing machine won. Lord DIY also won, but was definitely down for a quick moment. We got one seam done, but I had to change the bobbin thread and it was a whole ordeal. Where there is sewing, there is always drama. like I'm making like a napkin. <laughs> what is this? A napkin with nice edges. Like I'm not gonna lie. It's it's not the worst hem I've ever done. Here's what the back looks like. If you're attempting to recreate based on this tutorial, I would highly recommend going elsewhere for an actual tutorial on how to do this. But basically I've got two strips on the back here and I'm gonna be doing four straight stitches to create two tunnels, one on the bottom, one on the top. And then the next challenge, if all goes well, is figuring out exactly how to thread the shirt onto the strings to string it all together. I have some excess white thread just from like drawstrings. So I'm gonna grab one of the safety pins from our previous DIY and this is hands down the easiest way to thread any kind of drawstring, even if like a drawstring falls out of your hoodie or something. I'm gonna go through the top tunnel all the way across. Okay, so here's the arms. So oh, this is not the best shirt to have underneath while we try this on. Okay, I think the string of that is actually correct. Ooh, this is a cute little ruffle, little ruffle game, strong. I think the mechanics of this are actually correct and I'm excited. <laughs> So I 
hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know in the comments which thrift flip was your favorite. I definitely did not stumble over thrift flip, thrift flip like a bajillion times before this. Thrift flip. And as always, if you try out any of these DIYs, you can send me photos on Twitter and Instagram and all the socials will be linked in the down bar below alongside the thread up code to get 30% off your first order. I also would like to make it a thing where you guys send me photos of your hauls. <laughs> Cause you guys get to watch me haul all this fun stuff all the time, but like, I wanna see your haul. So when you do shop Thread Up, please send me photos of the pieces that you got, and I am so excited for you to shop some cool brands and save your money. Win-win all around. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you on the vlog channel, the pod channel, and also next Sunday for another Sunday at what? Okay, bye guys, love you.